Professor Wold. This is our first lesson in the Introduction to Amazon Security Management series. Uh, this lesson will focus on the fundamentals of AWS security groups. So you're moving to the cloud and you're starting to use uh, the AWS environment uh, to run your uh, instances, to run your, your computers, and you need to secure them. So um, the first thing you want to do when you're using the AWS firewall is to realize that a central um, concept in the AWS firewall is a security group. Security group is something like this. It's what you would normally call a policy if you're used to other firewall vendors. Um, it's a collection of rules. It's a list of rules. So here we see some rules for um, the TCP on port 22, so SSH, and UDP on port 123, so NTP. Um, and they're ordered in this way. If you look at this and you're used to other firewalls, then you can see that things are missing. The first thing is mi that's missing is the action. There's no action to say if this rule is allowing or dropping the traffic. That's because on AWS firewalls, the action is always allow. You cannot write deny rules. All the rules are positive rules. They all allow the traffic that you specified. The second thing that you can see is missing is that there's no destination. There's a source where the traffic is allowed to come from, in this case from 1111, uh, but there's no destination. And the reason is that in the AWS firewall, the destination is always me. It is always the instance on which this particular service security group is applied to. Um, so you can write a single security group and apply it to multiple instances, and the security group will adapt itself and will allow the traffic to the IP address of that instance where it's applied to. So this is convenient. Uh, and as I said, you can apply the same security group to multiple instances, much like you can apply a, the same policy on a, a traditional firewall to uh, multiple firewalls. You can apply the same policy in multiple firewalls. You can apply the same security group to multiple instances. This is uh, more or less uh, something that we're used to. However, when you're in the Amazon environment, Amazon has done uh, something that we're less used to, and that is you can actually apply multiple security groups to a single instance. So you actually have a many-to-many -many relationship. You can have multiple security groups associated with multiple instances. And the way it works is that an instance can inherit the rules from all the security groups that are associated with it. So for instance, here I have in this example uh, two security groups, one for um, Linux services. This is suitable for uh, instances running the Linux operating system, so allowing management, remote management of those uh, computers. Uh, and I have another, uh, web, um, another security group that's suitable for web services. For web services. So if you have um, instances that are functioning as a web service, a web server, uh, regardless of the operating system, then you need to allow uh, HTTP, HTTPS to reach that web server. So you have a functional group of uh, rules for web servers, and you have another functional uh, list of rules uh, based on the operating system, and you can mix and match them. So you can have apply the uh, Linux services security group to all the Linux-based instances. And you can apply the blue web services security group to all the uh, instances that function as web servers. So regardless of the operating system that they're running. And you can see that, for instance, this instance inherits both these security groups because it's running the Linux operating system and it's functioning as a web service. And you can use this type of arrangement to have multiple security groups, each focused on a particular function or operating system or campaign or what have you. And then you can mix and match them and apply them to the instances uh, to suit your needs. Thank you for your attention, and see you next time in the next class.